Hi, welcome to the show. Just got a new mic, the MXL GCP1 Raw. It's a guitar mic. I decided instead of doing an unboxing, I just do a mic shootout by way of a demo. In today's show, the segments are going to be the mic shootout between the three microphones, which mic I like best, as well as how I am actually going to use this mic to mic up a guitar amp. So let's get on with the shootout. So what I did was I recorded myself playing three different riffs that all go together. One for a clean sound, one for a dirty sound, and one for a distorted sound. Then I used reamping so there's no difference in the playing between the different sound samples. I then recorded each microphone, an MXL 910 condenser, the one that I used to capture voice in my videos, an SM57, you're all familiar with that classic, and the GCP1. I recorded them with each riff, and I recorded each of them on the cone of the speaker and the edge of the speaker. So let's hear those samples.
After hearing all those samples, I found that the MXL 910 was very muddy when recording guitar. I didn't like its tone at all. Honestly, I've never liked its tone. I've been using it because it's all that I have. It's why I got another microphone. I was afraid that this guitar microphone was also going to be muddy since it was the same manufacturer, which is why I waited for it to be on a stupid deal of the day from Musician's Friend and picked it up for 60 bucks instead of 200 Now, having heard the samples, I would have spent the $200 on it. I still like the way the SM57 sounds, especially on the cone. When I'm micing up a guitar amp, I always use two close mics. One at the speaker cone and one at the speaker edge. I do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, if I'm in a live situation and one of those microphones dies, I can just keep playing and let the sound man do his job to replicate the sound I had when both microphones were working. Secondly, in a studio situation, when you close mic a speaker, it has a very different sound at the cone than it does at the edge. The cone is brighter and more pronounced, and the edge is darker and a little muddy. These two sounds blend together, and when you're actually listening to the guitar in the room, you hear a mixture of the two. So I mic the two places on the speaker, and then I can blend those microphones together to get a reasonable facsimile of the way it actually sounded in the room. I know for sure I don't want to use the 910. I know for sure I'm going to use a 57 and the GCP1. Let's figure out which one I should use at the cone and which one I should use at the edge. I think that having the SM57 at the edge causes too much of a loss of fidelity. The SM57 is really dark when you put it at the edge, but the GCP1 is not nearly as dark. I'll put the SM57 on the cone and the GCP1 at the edge. <laughs> enjoyed this shootout. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, God bless, and have a great day.